What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Shady here and today we're going to be talking about Cynthia Erivo and what's been transpiring with the Wicked film. So to be a little bit more specific, we're going to be talking about the behind the scenes in terms of all the drama outside of the film, not necessarily the film itself, okay? But I am going to be giving a little bit of details with regards to obviously the movie just so we can have a little bit more context. So the Wicked film is pretty much the movie or film adaptation of the musical with music and lyrics by Steven Schwartz and a book by Winnie Holtzman. Now the first performance was back in 2003 on Broadway and it's about the life and times of the Wicked Witch of the West, El Faba or El Faba. I don't know how to pronounce it. Y'all let me know. I've never personally seen the play but I would like to see the Broadway version at one point in my life because it looks interesting. But for the rest of this video I'm probably just gonna say El Faba. But if I'm incorrect let me know. But the story is about El Faba and also her friendship with Glinda, who's another witch. Now the film's beginnings were kind of shrouded in controversy because of Ariana and Ethan Slater's affair and eventual divorces from their previous partners so that they could be together. People still talk about it of course, but it kind of died down a lot. Ariana is playing Glinda and Ethan Slater plays Bach, but let's get into the drama, okay? We're here to specifically talk about the drama. So fans, even though there was a little bit of negative press in the initial stages of the making of the film in terms of production. They were still excited for the movie and their feelings surrounding the film seemed pretty positive. And to show the excitement, there was a fan that decided to edit the movie poster to make it look more like the original from the play. So Cynthia Erivo is playing Elphaba in the film and I do think she, I just want to say this, you know, I think she's super, super talented. I just recently saw a video of her singing live and I was like, oh my gosh, her voice is absolutely insane. I just have to play a little bit of it. Hopefully I don't have no copyright issues, but just a little bit so y'all can see what I mean. Super talented woman and also when it comes to her Broadway and acting capabilities, on point, on point. It seems from scenes that I've seen personally. Now this video of this fan edit of the poster had made its way to Cynthia somehow and she ended up seeing it and in response she ended up pretty much going over to her Instagram stories and pretty much saying this. I'm gonna read what she had posted in her stories. So she says, this is the wildest, most offensive thing I've seen, equal to that awful AI of us fighting, equal to people posing the question, is your you know what green? Her PU, yeah, no, ends with a Y. And I think that is a running joke. I don't know if that was specific to her, but I think I heard that it was kind of a running joke. In terms of obviously the character of Elphaba, she is basically green, right? So the stupid people obviously, you know, they'd be like, is your you know what green? And it's just like, okay, why, why is that even being brought up? But anyways, back to what she said. None of this is funny, none of it is cute. It degrades me, it degrades us. The original poster is an illustration. I'm a real life human being who chose to look right down the barrel of the camera to you, the viewer, because without words, we communicate with our eyes. Our poster is an homage, not an imitation. To edit my face and hide my eyes is to erase me, and that is just deeply hurtful. So that was what she said, and then I think right after that, she posted the same movie poster that wasn't edited. She says, let me put this right here to remind you and cleanse your palate and then she has some green hearts next to it and fans after seeing this thought that she was overreacting now before I give my thoughts I want to show you guys what I saw from a youtuber by the name of critical drinker because I thought that he brought up some pretty interesting points about the details of the movie poster versus the original playbill poster the intention was to recapture the intriguing mixture of dark mysterious danger knowing sardonic humor and subtle 
subtle sensuality of the stage version, the ironic smirk suggests a protagonist who knows things the audience and other characters don't, who may have sinister intentions in mind, or just views the world around her with the nonchalant amusement of someone who knows exactly who she is and what she wants to become way before anyone else has figured it out. Lastly, there's the eyes, which are hidden. The eyes, as they say, are a window to the soul. They can tell you a great deal about what a person's really feeling, but if you remove the eyes altogether from an image, it takes away our biggest insight into a person's true motivations and intentions. Then there's the movie poster, which abandons all of that carefully constructed mystery, ambiguity, and compellingly complex mix of femme fatale sensuality and dark moody aloofness, and instead just has the protagonist staring blankly at the audience like she's vaguely confused by what's being whispered in her ear. To also present another perspective or way of looking at the situation, I also wanted to bring in this video that I found over on TikTok of a young woman pretty much explaining, you know, the other side of things. So you've probably heard that Cynthia Revo is not too happy about this fan edit fixing the movie poster. And before we all go say that it's not that serious and she's overreacting, let's just give like a little bit of grace and insight to why Cynthia might be feeling this way. I can promise you she's not pressed about the red lips or about the hair. She's upset that her eyes are covered to the point where you can't even really tell that that is her. And yes, that is closer to the show poster, but it also has Glinda having white, a white hat and white hair and her eyes are open and all they really did to Ariana was move her hand placement. So we can't say that this version is all that accurate either. Now, why does it matter that Cynthia's eyes be seen for us to be able to tell that that is Cynthia? There has only been one black alphabet full-time on Broadway in its whole run. Despite the fact that race has nothing to do with the role because she has green skin, and despite the fact that there are many black female singers that are more than qualified. I mean, let's face it, that style of powerful singing is often where black voices shine. So the fact that they cast a black woman in this huge publicized movie is a big deal. That representation does matter and being seen and recognized does matter. At the end of the day, it's just a fan edit, but it is one that went viral and it's one that people have been saying is a lot better than the movie poster. How would you feel if somebody told you that you look better when you're not really seen, even if you know the intention was originally just to make it more look more like this? She's one of the most powerful voices that I've ever heard. She is somebody that you should know. So people have also been saying that Cynthia might be trying to Rachel Zegler herself and was also giving Amanda Stenberg some pretty stiff competition. And also Ariana Grande had made a response to the poster remake drama, but she was trying her best not to upset fans, but still not bash Cynthia because she has gone on record to say that she has love for Cynthia and they do have kind of like a friendship. So I just want to read what Ariana said really quick. So she says, I think it's very complicated because I find AI so conflicting and troublesome sometimes, but I think it's just kind of such a massive adjustment period. This is something that is so much bigger than us and the fans are going to have fun and make their edits. So when she was asked if some things can go too far, Ariana had responded by saying, I think so. And I have so much respect for my sister, Cynthia, and I love her so much. It's just a big adjustment period. There's so much stimulation about something that's so much bigger than us. And I think from that, it does sound as though she's taking the fan side of things, even though she, like I said already, was like trying her best not to come across as though she was like disagreeing wholeheartedly or bashing Cynthia for her take on it. But at the same time, it was like, mm, yeah, um, they're going to do what they want to do, <laughs> which is what fans are going to do anyway. And I think what Cynthia probably is going to need to understand, because I'm not going to go into my thoughts, okay? I think what Cynthia needs to understand is that when it comes to people online, they're going to troll. They're going to continue to troll the hell out of you if they realize that it's getting on your nerves. It's pretty much like that bully. If they see that they're getting to you, they're going to keep like going at it, keep trying to get under your skin and, you know, bully you. So I think that her responding was just not, mm -mm. I would not have done that. I would not have suggested doing that. I think she should have definitely left it alone or if it was really bothering her she could have probably said something very like indirectly instead of literally putting the fans edit the edited poster in her instagram stories and specifically saying this is what i'm talking about i would have let people kind of think that i'm talking about this situation but not really directly say i'm talking about the situation but i do think what kind of ticked her off maybe is in the actual description of the video the fan had said fixing the wicked poster and i think that language of saying fixing it comes across as though something is really wrong with 
what's like on the poster now. I guess she probably would take it as, oh, I'm what's wrong with it because I'm black. I kind of see how that could translate into some negative energy when you see that. But at the same time, I do think you could look at it in another way and you could see a fan saying fixing in terms of making it look like what was on the playbill and making it look a little bit more interesting because if I'm going to be honest, when you see the movie poster, her looking directly into the viewer's eyes, okay, so to speak, it just looks so dead. Like it didn't really convey the same feeling of like, I know something that you don't, like how Critical Drinker said in his video, which is why I wanted to put a clip of what he said in here. With that poster, it seemed a little bit more mysterious, playful, cheeky, it seemed to, be a little bit more interesting to look at like there's something really going on there than Cynthia playing Alphaba and just looking directly at the viewer like there's no like mysteriousness from the hat like the brim covering her eyes like it just seemed like when they had her just looking at us it just did not have that same feeling same vibe and I gotta admit like it just looks dead like she looks dead inside low-key like she's just kind of like like literally in the poster just it just does not have that same oomph in my opinion. But I do think that when it comes to how she feels and the whole being a race thing, I do kind of get it to a certain extent, but it's like overall I do think that she is being kind of overly dramatic about it. It's just a fan edit. But at the same time, I think if she was kind of like, for example, like a John Boyega, when it came to the poster for the Star Wars film that he was in and they had promoted the movie over in China, they literally took him off the poster entirely. If you want to talk about being erased, look at him. He was literally erased from the poster as if he did not exist. So if it was a situation like that, I could totally understand why she would feel, you know, like, what is this, right? But it's not as though she was completely erased. In this poster, you can literally still see her cheekbones, lips, and everything. You could still see that that's her face. It's just covering her eyes. Now, if they had taken her off the poster completely, obviously it would not make sense. But when it came to, for example, like I said, John Boyega and that situation with Star Wars if it was like that where they completely took her off completely removed her features made her look like a white woman for example then I could be like okay yeah um questionable but literally all they changed was covering her eyes and making her lips red and gave it a little bit of a smirk because like I said it looked like she was dead inside I'm just going to be real but I do think that the victimhood narrative is not a good look I just don't think that you should be going down that route especially when the film has not come out yet it definitely gives it some negative press towards the movie even though it might not have been your intention I think that you should have probably waited <laughs> like wait to talk about it don't just jump the gun and be like yeah like I just don't like this like wait until the movie comes out at least a couple months in when all the box office and everything like calms down and things are back to normal like that's when you could probably talk about it but not right now not before the movie is even released but I just honestly hope that this doesn't completely sour things when it comes to the fans and the movie release and I hope that people still support the film I know I probably will even though I didn't see the play I I still want to actually watch the movie and then probably see the play later on. I just think that this was not really a good idea, not a good PR move before the movie is actually even put out. It's supposed to be coming out November 22nd, so I am excited to see all of that and also Ariana's acting skills because on SNL she's hilarious. But let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments. I did try my best to see both sides of it, but obviously I want to present my thoughts as well. I did think that she was kind of overreacting, but let me know. Let me know how you're feeling about it down in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.